like it's really great if I have the ability to kind of show people, hey, you know, this is uh, the possibility is limitless and make it your own and do what you feel like you want to do and um, and be creative with it. So that's also like a big part of um, why we why I continue to do this, the this room on Saturday because it doesn't have to be the one way that you see and um, and you can make it your own. So that's uh, that's that. And and at the end of this point, number two for formats and also deciding on some of the 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 guideline for engagement, I think the determinant is familiarity with the platform and familiarity with the people who are involved, meaning so everyone has a different level of understanding of how they can use this and then um, with all the functions within. And then the other part of it is uh, how well they know each other, because it could very well be like you have a few people who are who you already know well in real life and they and you bring them all on together on here to do a, a room together and so of course you're going to already have that rapport with each other but then on the other side like the meet and greet like you just don't know where people are from where what they ate earlier today and how their mood is so um that's like another like a big part of all of this for this for the format of engagement so let me just pause there. Okay, now, now number, well, number three, so would you be feel free to jump in whenever you feel like it? Number so, three is the... To add to, to, add to the format, I, um, it depends. I, I think if you're comfortable with the people you're moderating with and if you've been doing the room for a while, then the format um, can, uh, can be popcorn style. Uh, I've seen popcorn styles where it works, <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I've seen popcorn style where it becomes a confused mess. Uh, and then, it, and also the, the possibility for popcorn style to, um, to have like one person um, sort of like dominate the conversation. And so, so I've seen like a combination of all of them, you know, it, uh, that's why I say like, if you've been doing the room for a while and then the people who come in, um, it becomes familiar, then it's a beautiful conversation, you know, uh, and then can do back and forth without having to, to dictate anything. Um, you know, so however, sometimes like, you know, I always feel pressure to make sure I say hello and give everybody on stage an opportunity to speak. So that's when I try to go in uh, order, I'd call it PTR order. So, um, so yeah, that, that it that really depends uh, how long you've been doing the room and uh, how comfortable you are with the, your co-moderators or even your audience. Uh, you know, so um, which is which is I which, which I think is great because uh, the more you do the rooms, the more you get comfortable in clubhouse with doing your own rooms, then um, then everything sort of become organic in its own way, and I really like that. Thank you for that. It's like playing around with both the popcorn style and then the PTR. And then I love how you express that even in the popcorn, there can be someone, there is still the person who is the lead, um, which in your rooms I see, you know, because you started the room and then you're, you are the creator and so you're the lead. But then you have people who are the, um, the supporting actors as well. And then, of course, yes, yeah, super important when people do join the stage to um, to get them involved in participating in the whole thing and acknowledging them. So, so this is your room, and you're welcome here, Raymond Atondra. If you would like to join us, you are um, super free to come up and hang out and say however much or however little you wish. Uh, meanwhile, let me just keep going. So the third part of this, like before the room, is kind of also thinking about who do you want to get involved in. So, you know, your co-host, which is what we already shared a little bit about. Do you have a, a guest appearance, someone that you want to bring on for their unique 
perspective and that maybe they're your interview subject. So, um, yeah. And then aside from that, maybe sometimes it's also fun and challenging and interesting to just start your solo rooms and be your, be the only mod because then you just never know who you're going to meet. And I find that I feel like a lot of times, like the people that I've met and continue to stay in touch with have been because I just opened the room on a whim because I just felt like I needed to talk about something, whatever it is. And then people join and they, and we just have a good time and we keep in touch from that point onwards. And some, some of them become my mods like the week after or next week, like just like Widgeby and others who I've met along the way, because now we've like developed a connection and know how, know, know the respect between one another and that we have a common ground and a, a groove that we're working on. So that's, that's something else. And you, and you can all go also on my Instagram on, I just posted about, cause I did a room on co-hosting as well. And I did post like five ideas for how to co-host or how to find co-hosts. So yes, that's, you can go check that out. Um, and next up, I, I think the one important thing that I just wrote down, I realized was I sometimes I forget it, but having like a checklist for just little technical things to do. And one, the thing that I, um, well, with now the choosing the topics, I think I want to try to see if I can plan that ahead of time. And, um, and then also, uh, yeah, going into my setting and then changing the notification, like send fewer notifications to my community. Because sometimes if I'm room hopping, I just turn that on so I don't disturb all everyone who is connected with me. But then if I'm opening up my room, I do want to like switch it to off so that people can um, see that I'm starting this room. And also... Um, Oh, and also just like set on my phone, the do not disturb. So I don't get any phone calls or anything, especially if I'm the lead. So that's that. And uh, I, I just want to just jump on to the next point. Welcome, Atondra. The next point, uh, the next couple, like three, six of them are for during the room. But um, so Atondra, do you have something to add or hello and how are you? Hey there. Good morning or good afternoon at least where I am. Um, first, thank you for holding the, holding the space and, and um, for welcoming me to your stage. Um, I wanted to, I had raised my hand because when you were talking about 